Wiggle one of y'all boys. So on today's episode of Gullah Geechee Adventures, I'm going to show y'all how to cook Carolina Gold Rice Churn Friendly Edition. 40 acres in a Tesla. 40 acres in a Tesla. 40 acres in a Tesla. Alright, so first step is fill a bowl with two cups of rice, as you see I'm doing right, Sha. Make sure you use a decent sized bowl. Don't use no baby bowl, especially for the next step. So make sure you grab one of them big old bowls that's in the cabinet somewhere. Step two, which should really be step one, is to give thanks to the creator and our ancestors for blessing us with this rice. I feel like a lot of times we eat food and we don't even give thanks to, you know, the creator and the people who help bring it over here. Step three, and this is why you need a good size bowl because you want to soak your rice for 30 minutes to an hour just to give it, you know, that, that fluffiness. If you don't really care about the fluffiness, then you can go ahead and skip this part. But if you want fluffy rice, then go ahead and soak them for a good 30 minutes to an hour. Step four is you want to wash your rice until that water runs clear. Now you see how cloudy this water is right now. So yeah, go ahead and wash them until the water runs clear. People like to say wash them about three times, but honestly, I had to wash this rice a couple times. Um, felt like six times until it started to run clear. Like I mentioned, this is a churn-friendly version, so we are making this in a rice cooker. And when I was in foster care, we had every man for yourself days, meaning that my foster parents was not finna cook for me. And so one thing I used to love cooking is rice. Number one, we wasn't even allowed to touch the stove, so using a rice cooker also just became one of my best friends when I was in that system. But back to rice, you want to add your broth or water to your rice cooker and let them cook. And that is how you cook Carolina gold rice. There you go. Y'all boy dive in.